Hello, everyone. Welcome to the introduction to environmental engineering. I'm Victor Chen. I would like to share the information regarding what this program is about and why this is right for you. Environmental engineering is a unique major degree program that sits in between civil engineering, chemical engineering, and material science. We also get the trainings from business school, commerce, and also social science. What does an environmental engineer do? An environmental engineer work collectively with others to ensure the quality of our living environment is maintained or improved during the rapid development process. It is an environmental engineer's job to ensure the engineering solutions are implemented and managed in harmony with sustainable development. Both climate change and urban development has increasingly become an area of interest nowadays. We are living in one of the most livable cities in the world. However, there has been a bunch of challenges that call for the solutions from environmental engineers. For example, Australia experienced third hottest years in 2018 and has only recently overcome the disasters such as flooding and bushfires. In addition, the amount of solid waste we generate are of concerns. Contribution from environmental engineers can be seen in our daily life. Not only the waters we drink need to be safe and fresh, the used waters need to be treated before it returns to the river and sea. Environmental engineers are crucial in the design and operation of such water facilities. Monash Environmental Engineering has a strong alumni network in the water facility across Victoria and Australia. Environmental engineers also contribute to the sustainable development of buildings. They collaborate closely with architects and civil engineers to implement sustainable strategies. For example, this include energy efficient building operations, the optimization of water and resources harvesting at the building level, as well as ensuring the indoor environmental quality is good and safe. Many of our graduates go on to both public and private sectors as a consultants, policy makers, and operators. We generate more waste than ever before. For those unwanted resources, our graduates help to ensure they are reused and recycled to their best capacity, and then go to a proper treatment processes, such as converting our waste to energy as electricity and heat, or to the material that can be recycled and manage the landfill side that do not degrade our living environment. In Monash Environmental Engineering, we integrate the training in several focus areas, including sustainable built environments, water and wastewater treatment, urban waste management, transport and infrastructure. To ensure our graduate can tackle the challenges we mentioned previously, we carefully integrate our curriculums in a systematic way. Uh, here I showed you an example in the sustainable built environment area. The second year introduced the fundamental training in our specializations. The third year focused on in-depth knowledge and skill. The final year is a time for application units where the student will use the knowledge they accumulated to solve the real life challenges. In addition to the traditional four-year environmental engineering programs, we also provide five-year dual degree, such as environmental with commerce, science, and arts. More information can be found at Monash website. Another interesting program to look out for is the engineering minor programs. This will allow you to complete bachelor degrees majoring in environmental engineering and minoring in another discipline. This can be done by taking the core unit in environmental engineering, as well as four specific units in the selected minors, such as civil, renewable, mining, and others. Conversely, you can also choose environmental engineering as a minor while taking another core major degrees. Here are some career practice domains where you can find alumni of Monash Environmental Engineering. As mentioned previously, 
Environmental engineers are welcome in a variety of professions. About one third of our graduates join government agencies and NGOs that monitor and regulate environmental issues. About 50 to 60 percent join industry and contribute to engineering consulting firms, building operations, and the like. Roughly 10 percent choose to continue conduct advanced research and development. One thing I would like to highlight is our student society. Monash Environmental Engineering Society, MIS, is very active and provides a strong support system as students navigate study, daily life, and career development. Here concludes the introduction to environmental engineering. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on campus.